Hi there, Chris here. I wanted to put together a quick video explaining how to update your custom plane skins in IL2 for anyone new, and also show a one button click solution for keeping your IL2 skins folder up to date. In case you weren't aware, IL2 lets you create and use your own custom skins for any aircraft in the game, even in multiplayer. However, only other people that have your same skin installed on their machine will be able to see it. I'll make another video in the future explaining how to go about making your own custom skin. But for now, assuming you've had one made for you or downloaded one from the internet, I'll show you how to install it. You'll have to navigate to your IL2 installation directory, look for the data folder, then graphics, then skins. In there, you should see a directory for each of the plane types. Your plane skin should be a .dds file and you'll need to place it into the correct directory. It's pretty easy, but the problem is once you have several of these to place and new players constantly making new skins, it can be quite time consuming to download and manage the installation of all these files. With the amount of time and effort it takes to make a custom skin, it's a bit of a shame if you're the only one that sees it. Plus most of us play on servers without any target information, so it'd be great if we could all recognize each other from our skins. So how can we automate this process? Well, there's two free apps we're gonna use, Dropbox and SyncToy. I'll place a link to each in the description below. You may already be using Dropbox, and if not, I highly recommend it. The free version gives you two gig of storage, which allows you to have your data synchronized between multiple machines, backed up online, and accessible remotely. Dropbox also allows you to set up a shared folder that members can either view or edit the contents of based on their access rights, which can be set by the owner. You can see here, Tango Sierra and myself have done just that. Now any new skins either of us create can be put in here and anyone else with access to this folder will automatically be updated immediately on their end. But these aren't in the game directory, so how do we use them? Well, we could manually copy them into the game directory like we did earlier, but this is time consuming. So the easier one button click solution is to use SyncToy. SyncToy is a free app that lets you create a link between two directories that you want to keep synchronized. The great thing about it is it's really easy to use, and once we've set it up, we can have it set to only contribute new data into our game directory, so there's no chance of deleting any existing files. Download and install SyncToy, then open it up and choose Create New Folder Pair. For the left folder, we're going to choose our Dropbox location. And for the right folder, we'll choose our IL2 skins directory. Press next, and on the next screen, choose contribute. You can see in the short explanation on the right, that new and updated files are copied left to right. Renames are repeated, but nothing in the right folder is deleted. Press next and choose a name for your folder pair. For example, update IL2 skins. That's it, we've set up a folder pair. Now with it selected, you can press the preview button down the bottom right to see what it will do. The preview window will open up and show you any new contents that have been added into our Dropbox folder. You can untick anything you don't want, but for now, I'll just press run. So now whenever we want to update our game's skins directory, we can open SyncToy, press preview or run, and we're done. If you're creating your own skin and you want to share it with the rest of our community, place it in the Dropbox skins folder and it'll be backed up and instantly shared. You'll just need to request edit access for this. Hopefully you found this guide useful. I think it's a much easier way to share and install our custom skins. If you have any questions, you can contact me or leave them in the comments below. Links to both Dropbox and SyncToy are also in the description below, as well as the IL2 Discord groups I most frequently fly with. And if you'd like your own custom skin made, but don't have the artistic skill or time for it, feel free to reach out to either myself or Tango Sierra.